Hello, Serge here for the Backyard Driving Range. All right, we have a question that came into Custom Service, and it's uh, titled Support Request. Is Keegan Bradley partly a Sergeite? Notice they said partly. It goes, Hi Don, for a good while I have been, I've had the impression that KB, Keegan Bradley, is playing the PPGS, especially his backswing looks a lot like our swing. He is not playing a three-quarter swing, but it looks excellent from behind. His follow-through looks still like a rotational swing. What are your thoughts on KB swing? And that's from Holger. All right, and Holger, you are right. You are exactly right. I mean, as long as I've, I've seen Keegan Bradley out there, he definitely is quite vertical. He has good posture, good athletically readiness. He's bent over well. He lifts the club straight up. He takes it relatively back and straight up. He definitely is... At parallel, might even be a little bit beyond it with longer clubs, but he definitely, he def and, he, and he comes down pretty good into impact, but he does tend to get wide on the other side. And so that's a very good observation. To add to that observation, as you know, uh, I talk a lot about having watched the Golf Channel, I watch the tournaments. I don't watch so much those, those, uh, those shows that they have on Monday and Tuesday nights with uh, golf instruction on them. I, I, I like to stay calm and keep my blood pressure down. So I, what I do watch is I, I like to watch the golf tournaments for exactly what Holger just said here about seeing what, what's going on with the swings. And I am noticing a lot more vertical upswings, not uh, back swings, not just, not just on the PGA Tour, but on the LPGA Tour, I'm, I'm seeing much, much more of them. And, 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 and in the verticalness, we're starting to see a little bit on the shorter side. But for the most part, most golfers are still finishing way over to the left too much. And we know that, that, that swinging a golf club is just like skipping a rock. You skip a rock and go straight down and through. It's the same thing as, as basically if a, a pitcher throws the ball, he follows through straight to the target. I mean, every, every sport in the world basically has you, has you look at, swing at, and finish at where you finish. I mean, the hockey players go straight back and through. You talk about a golf swing, huh? There's a whoosh, and what do you know? What do we all hear about hockey players? They're, many of them are really good golfers, and they just they can knock the ball a country mile because they, they got those stronger wrists and forearms and all those hitting those hockey shots. A tennis player, a forehand goes straight back and through. Backhand goes straight back and through at the target. Golf's the only sport that says aim there, try to hit it there, but finish over there. All right? It just doesn't work. So with that in mind, I'm, I'm getting hope for the backs. I'm getting hope for the finish, but in the end, I think, I think the finish is the most important part because why? The ball goes, the ball, the ball direction is based on, on, from, on the forward swing to the finish. You don't hit the ball with your backswing. So a good backswing really sets up a better finish, but you can still mess up the finish, which I think too many golfers are doing. With that vein now about talking about uh, whether they're more vertical or whatever, I had a, I had a call just the other day from one of my, my local students here in the uh, Greenville Spartanburg area. And, and he was calling about getting a lesson from me, and, and uh, he said, he said, Serge, did you watch the Masters at all? He said, when, when they were showing a lot of Matt Kuchar. I said, yeah, I watched pretty much, actually, a number of hours of it. And he said, he said, I've got to believe, and, and see, this, this student, Richard, he's, he's, had, he's been a student of mine for about six years now, at least, and, and every time he's just aimed right, aim right, aim right, which is wrong, being a right-hander. He's out there, he's out there in a, you know, out near, in baseball terms, out near the foul line or, or even into the bleachers. And man, we've had, we've had, we've had a number of years of really trying to work him around. And honestly, the last time I saw him, he was pretty much absolutely spot on. And it came, a lot of it came from that video I did a while back about check your toes out to make sure your toes are left. All right. And so he said, it seemed like every time they had the camera behind Matt Kuchar and I, and I did his toe line there and else, and you know, you put his toe line and you draw, you draw in mind a line out there to, the, to, you know, parallel to it. He said he was aimed right a lot. And he says, he says, have you noticed that? I said, it's funny you say that because I do that all the time. Whenever they get behind somebody, I'm all, I'm going to be checking out their toe line and see, and see where I think they aimed and then get a better, if I get a view of where the ball's going uh, or, or where the hole is and how they're aimed, I, I get an idea of how they're doing it. And you've heard me talk about that in dailies before where, where I felt a player one time pushed the ball out of bounds and, and I said if he hits it dead straight where he's aimed, he's going straight out of bounds on a fly he did and another time he hit in a left bunker. And so I do that all the time. It's, I just basically, when I'm watching TV, I'm analyzing. I, I, I can't look at a golf swing and not analyze, okay, if I'm looking at it. So, yes, 
Richard, I think Matt was aiming to the right on a number of shots. And, and so I think you were correct. And uh, so keep up, keep up your view of alignment, especially for yourself when you play golf. So again, we have, we have two good observations here. We're seeing a lot more vertical backswings, but we still got, a, I still got, and you've got, and we got as Sergites to save the world a lot of work to get the message out there that we want vertical on both sides, especially the forward swing to the tee finish, because the ball goes only because of the forward swing. You don't hit it in the backswing, you hit it with the forward swing. And watch that alignment, because you can have the best swing in the world, but if you're aimed in properly and, and your intended alignment is not your actual alignment, you swing down your actual alignment, who knows where the ball's gonna go. All right, so from, from Holger and, and about Keegan Bradley and Richard about Matt Kuchar in terms of swing and alignment. You guys were spot on. It's good and great to see that you're all starting to really understand the swing and recognize those things, those good things and, and wrong things about other swings, about players and everything else. So I love it to hear that, that, that you're all being more awake, more aware, and it's only going to help your game. All right? So that's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.